What's up, boys and girls? This is Scyther4077, and welcome to another episode of Deus Ex Human Revolution. This is part 12. We are back at the Alice Garden Pods, and we are going to talk to Van Bruggen. So it's a bit of a cutscene, and I'll leave you to it, and then I will be back as soon as it's over, okay? Okay. Forget it, man. You're not my type. This isn't a booty call, Van Bruggen. This is about you and some friends of yours I met in Detroit. Detroit? Yeah, okay. I got it now. You had Seraph, right? You were them and I had to pull the plug. So you admit it. You were running a mole. The heck, man. Just the heck. Worst decision I ever made taking that gig. As you can obviously see. You attack my people, Windmill. If you hope to walk away from this, you tell me what you know. Down, boy. I've got no allegiance to that backstabbing bitch who hired me. Especially after she painted a target on my back. The girl you want is Zhao Yunru. Tai Young Medical CEO. Tai Young Medical? They're Seraph's biggest competition. How do you think they got that way? Zhao doesn't like competition, see? So she uses hack attacks, blackmail, extortion, anything she can do to destabilize him. No offense, but Seraph was just the latest in a long line. You got any proof of this? There's a surveillance recording in the Tai Young Tower. I stashed it on a server in case I ever needed an insurance policy. Not a very smart place to hide it, seeing as you don't work there anymore. Things got hot before I could move it. And now, I got you to get it for me. Of course, you can't just walk into that place. You're gonna need an employee card encoded with your biometrics to use the TYM shuttle. Well, what do you know, Windmill? I've already got an employee card. Just needs the biometrics from my passport to work. So start encoding. There you go. All shiny and bioencoded, just like I promised. Where do I find this recording? On a surveillance server in the TYM tower. But that badge will only get you into the lower city factory via their employee shuttle. And how am I supposed to get up to the tower from down here? Never said it wouldn't require a little finesse. Look, the tricky part is getting through the pangle. But you're a resourceful guy. I have faith in you. Right. And after I'm through the floof? You'll be in the upper city tower. The server you want is in the central security hub. The login and password are on this. Now, about my reward. Tie your medical man! They're here! Banner! I want that hack a day! You gotta help me, Jason! They're gonna kill me! And that concerns me how? Okay, so first things first, I give him my machine pistol. Now, when I did my pl my private playthrough, I gave him my regular pistol, my 10 millimeter, and he still was able to survive, but I'm not going to take that chance this time. Uh, so I'm giving him the 10 millimeter pistol, and then later on, he will contact you eventually if he does survive, and you will get 2,000... In credits. Also, I upgraded so I could have the Icarus parachute right there because then I just jump all the way down to the bottom level here and I can avoid all these guards and everything. Of course, they are still a threat, so you have to be careful because you get a lot of heavies in this part. So you gotta be careful. And I was like, where the hell are they? So I was like, hmm, I better take myself a, uh, I better get myself some energy, but I throw on uh, an EMP. Oh no, wait, no, I don't, not yet. Take care of him first. Ah, oh, okay. So, yeah, I do end up getting some energy here. I have to because, you know, I want to I want to be able to take him out. But also, I do throw the the EMP. And that was pretty close. So, I go ahead and take him out. Bye-bye. All right. And then eventually, once I cl clear some of those out, I go down the stairs. And, I, of course, I follow the marker and everything like that. 
I don't know why I didn't open those lockers right there. Hmm. But there's a couple of guys in here. Oh, no, there's one guy in here right now. And he's around the corner. You can see him on the map. So I'm like, hmm, I better shut this door. Yeah, because, you know, that's going to keep everybody out if they find out where I'm at. All I have to do is push the door open. So, just kind of wait for him to turn around and take him out. Awesome. Of course, that camera spotted me and it's saying, oh, hostile. So, I'm just kind of like, oh, man, I don't even have the shotgun. And I took the shotgun shells. Oh, wait, here's a shotgun. Yes. All right. I guess I can fit it. All right. I'll take it. And I see that a couple of guys come in. Just lowly security guys, security guards. They only have revolvers. Big deal. I'm going to take them out with the combat rifle. We'll take one out. The other one comes around. And it's like, I see you. I know where you're at. And headshot. Yeah. Hip shit. Eventually, we're going to come here. You need to grab a box or something so you can throw these at these flashing uh so we can throw them at these mines they're set up there don't want to get hurt don't want to get hit by them and we're going to go through there towards the marker still i didn't bother to check between all these stalls and everything like that there might be some items i don't know but when you get into this room oh actually you know what on the other side there is a robot or not a robot, but a turret. So I went ahead and I took care of it by, you know, via the security so it would be on my side and kill the enemies. I had it set to enemies. And I have it set, like, in that row right there. And I'm like, why isn't it killing it? Why isn't it shooting it? It's alarm. What the hell? So I don't know. Maybe. I, and I know it was functioning because it was green on the map and it, it's rotating. So I know that it's on. It's not disabled or anything, so I don't know what the hell happened. So I was like, uh, at first I was like, yeah, he's going to get it now. That's why I waited for a second. And then I go, what the hell, he's standing right there. What, the, what is wrong with that turret? <laughs> so, finally I'm like, okay, you know what, screw you, goodbye. Stupid ass. There's a few walls in there you can break. Oh, okay, now we get to this room here. Now, if you actually went to the right, you could duck underneath and go around so these guys wouldn't see you. And you could slip right past them, but I forgot about that. So I kind of stand around, well, kind of duck around. The guy turns around, but then I see the other guy coming back. And go get him. Oh. And the heavy turns around because he sees me. That's all right. I'm not worried. Yeah, you go ahead and keep wasting your bullets there, buddy. So, oh, I knew eventually he'd come over here, and, uh, bye-bye. Now, I do have the upgrade as well. I upgraded to be able to take down two opponents at once, which is, it helps out a lot, especially later on in the game, when it's just easier to do that way. And I mean, yes, it does take, I think it's, what is it, is it two, two energy cells, maybe? Or is it one? Get Pritchard on the line. I can't remember. But anyways, it's nice to have. Alright, so we're going to be heading to the TYM now. There's no side quests left, okay? So I made sure of that to take care of all the side quests first. Because once you go to the transit, which is near the limb clinic, actually, as you've seen. Once you go to that transit to the, go to the TYM, um, it's going to ask you, you know, hey, are you sure you want to do this? Because you're going to, you, you need to finish up all side quests if you have any. I mean, if, <laughs> otherwise you'd lose it, you know, and you wouldn't be able to finish them. So we go down here. And none of those lockers open. You bastards. Uh, there's some, oh, these lockers open, though. Got some credits. And... What else we got? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, newspaper. You son of a bitches. That doesn't count for XP. Oh, wait, those are two more lockers. And there's still nothing. But if you move this vending machine, look at that. There's some credits right there. So that's cool. It does help to move it. Well, that's the only problem, though, because then, I mean, if I always think about it, every time I see a vending machine and everything, I'm like, 
geez, maybe I should move it out of the way just to see if there's anything there. And it's like, the game might take like an extra three hours of gameplay just moving items out of the way. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, we're at the TYM. And just fall this way up here. No, no, no. I was making sure I wasn't missing any ebooks or something like that. Because in order to get this tr certain trophy, you have to find all 29 ebooks. That, the ones that give you XP. And you have to do it in one playthrough. So I'm trying not to miss anything. Alrighty. And I'm like, what? what the hell? I know that's the right way to go. What the shit? And then I see that there's... Something I gotta hack. <laughs> of course, we gotta help this guy out, which is really easy to do. Of course, I'm going to accept. I mean, why would you decline, you know? <laughs> Alright, so go right next door, and there's a keypad. So hack it up. Hack, hack, hack. Hack, 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 hack. Hack, 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 hack. I was able to hack every node, which was nice, I believe. Yeah, we got some lockers in here. I was like, oh, I better shut off the valve first before I start. You know, I don't think that he could die, though. I, I mean, I don't know. I'd never waited that long, but. <laughs> I don't want to take that chance. But because we helped him out, he's going to help us out. And he's going to let us get past at least one of the security guards. In the place where we need to start going to. Alright. And as soon as you get in this room, when you when we go there, you'll want to hack this little panel to move this bridge. And, uh... Yeah, but you don't want to move the bridge in the first place. You want to just keep it where it is, and we'll... Go to a couple rooms and then we'll move it. But we're not going to do that in this video. Because we will be doing that in the next video, which will be Deus Ex Human Revolution Part 13. We're going to get some more stuff done uh, as in part of the main quest. And it'll be fun. Because I'm having a great time with this game. I love this game. And yeah. So. But. Until then, this, this is Sector 4077 saying take care and cheers so long. Rate, comment, subscribe, suggest. But most importantly, as always, thank you so much for watching. Where do you think you're going and to yeah, make sure you pick area. your upgrades carefully, okay? Because you want to make sure that you don't get something that you it's useless, okay? And yeah, I found that out. So I had to play a whole big section over again in my private playthrough, you know, in order to advance. So yeah. But yeah, okay, I'll see you guys in the next video, and maybe next video I'll mention on what kind of upgrades I had gotten, just so you know. Maybe, yeah, just have an idea on what you should probably be getting, just to be prepared. Alright, see you in the next vids. Bye-bye.